one of the things that's fascinating about self-taught artists in their work is they challenge us to really try and understand what creativity is. A creative individual isn't just someone who's gone to art school and learned all the tools and trade of art making. Martin Ramirez was not formally trained in the academic setting. His work was created within an asylum culture. He built, he built and drew all of his uh, works on paper over the course of a 30-year time period uh, in two different asylums in Northern California. He um, spent his early life working as a rancher and uh, was a husband with children and left his home in 1925 in order to come to the United States to find work and to send money home. He was arrested in 1931. A, medical, a member of the medical community diagnosed him as demented and he was placed into the asylum culture when he was only 30 years old and he stayed in that asylum culture for the rest of his life, um, which was another 35 years. Martin Ramirez was also an artist, an artist who for 30 years created an incredible body of work, over 300 drawings made out of found available material. And he was creating all of this artwork in an environment that wasn't exactly hostile, but also wasn't exactly nurturing uh, the creative spirit of its patients. We also learned Ramirez loved working with crayon, which we knew, you can see the crayon markings on most of his drawings, but we all assumed that he used the crayon in its original form. Well, he didn't. Ramirez really painted with crayon. He would melt the crayon on the radiator, and then he would use uh, a large old wooden match stick to um, apply the paint onto the surface. We learned that Ramirez's straight edge is a tongue depressor. We learned that he often would take a plastic bowl in order to start to develop the, the more organic lines in his drawings. We learned that Ramirez built up his page using found bits and pieces of paper um, and gluing them together with his own adhesive that he made out of his saliva and also a bread or potato mixture that he would get from the canteen at the asylum. The way that Ramirez manipulates line, the way that he employs um, a very limited palette, and the way that he forces the material to um, speak for him in a very idiosyncratic way is just kind of mind-blowing. Creativity is often coming from a very um, vernacular place, a very common place. And he was someone who took that ability that we all have and he ran with it. And he allowed himself to explore expression on a, a flat surface in a two-dimensional manner. And he did it unlike anybody else.